Hello friends, recently I have created one Excel add-in tab control. This add-in helps us to work with sheet tabs a bit easy. I would like to give away that uh, add-in to my YouTube subscribers and friends free of cost. Please note this is only for personal use but not for any resale or commercial distribution. So in this video I am going to discuss about various features of this uh, add-in and I hope after watching this video you will be able to use this add-in uh, effectively. Now let me explain how to install this add-in. It's very simple. First of all you need to download the file. The download link is given in the description below. Uh, download the zip file and place in any folder. I have placed on uh, desktop. Extract the file and copy the file. It's an XLS, Excel AM file. It's an add-in file. Go to file. Under that go to options. In that select add-ins. And then go to manage Excel add-ins option and press go. You'll get add-ins dialog box. In that press browse option so that it will be taking you to add-ins uh, folder and place the file there and paste the file there and press ok. Now you can see tab control option is available under add-ins which is checked and if, rest, if you press ok there is a new tab created called image tools under that you have tab control option. I will explain again. You need to download the file, extract the file, copy the Excel AM file, go to file, under that go to options, under that go to add-ins, in that go to manage Excel add-ins option and then press go. You will get add-ins dialog box, in that press browse and you will be taken to add-ins folder, paste the copied file to add-ins folder and it is Excel AM file, Excel AM file and press ok. Now you can see the tab control option is available in the add-ins. It is already checked in. If you press OK, you will get a new tab that is MHZ tools. Under that, you will get tab control option. If you press tab control, you can see one user form having several options on which I am going to describe you now. When we are working with Excel spreadsheets, sometimes we find difficulty in doing simplest tasks. For example, if I wanted to hide a sheet, I'm going to right click on the sheet otherwise I use a shortcut key and hide it. And if I want to unhide it, right click on any sheet and just go to unhide dialog box and select the sheet and do it. So I can't unhide all the sheets together. But through VBA it is possible. So now if you see this user control option wherein if I wanted to hide sheets, I can quickly hide the sheets and also the indicator is showing which are all the sheets are hidden. And if I want to unhide all sheets together, I can do it very quickly. Now, let us see other options so that we can, you can understand how effectively you can use these options. And you will understand how useful this tab control is. For example, I wanted to create a summary of all the sheets. Sometimes we may require it. And if I create summary option, one new sheet is created called summary under that each sheet name is listed and also I can go there and click on that a hyperlink is created so that I can go to that particular sheet very quickly. Make sure that whenever you wanted to perform any activity through tab control make sure that your uh, cursor is on any specific sheet so that you can use it effectively. Now I wanted to arrange the sheets in alphabetical order. Press arrange A to Z. So all the sheets are now are arranged alphabetically. Now as we already discussed I can hide the sheets very quickly and then unhide all the sheets in one shot. Now I can move my sheet. The, currently my cursor is on Canada and I wanted to move the sheet towards uh, right. So just to move down the sheet is now moving towards right. Now the same sheet can be moved towards up any level, rather I wanted to keep on the very top. 
I can move a sheet to the beginning. Let us do one thing. Let us uh, move the sheet to end and then move the sheet to beginning so that same sheet can be kept very front or very last. And then I can add sheet. Normally when you are adding a sheet, you go to a plus option or use a shortcut and you can add only one sheet. But through VBA you can add many sheets. So if I select on add sheet, there is a dialog box is appearing. In that if I want to uh, create two more sheets, I say two and say okay. Now there are two more sheets are added there. And I can rename the sheets. Just select that particular sheet in the uh, what you call the combo box and go to rename sheet and give a name uh, maybe uh, North America. The sheet is created. It's basically renamed. Now I can protect a sheet. So here the mandatory is you need to give a password otherwise a sheet will not be protected. So unprotect first I'm protecting it so you need to enter a password so one two three say yes now your sheet is protected and if you want to pro unprotect it just press on that again and press one two three and your sheet is now unprotected and this password is only known to you and nobody else if you wanted to share the password you can just supply the password to the other user now sometimes what happens I wanted to I'm adding some content here and this content is from from a specific location now this is containing a formula and this data is starting from e5 till i14 so I'm not worried about i14 but data is starting from e5 and I wanted to copy this to a specific location a new sheet rather so that I want to keep this data in a different place so that this data is not disturbed for that I need to select copy to new sheet copy to new sheet now you need to select the range this range is selected you can select uh, only specific range or entire range whatever you want and then your range is actually starting from e5 and you wanted to paste this particular data into the new sheet into the same position so that say okay now you need to give a sheet name I'll say new sheet now your uh, new sheet is created where I need to give a row reference rather column reference and row reference so there the my data actually uh, started from e3 or e4 whatever it is so I'll select only I'll give on the column reference e okay and then row reference 3 okay so my data is now pasted from e3 onwards so that way you can copy any specific range from a sheet existing sheet to a new sheet and you can save the sheet now I want to save this uh, sheet to a file simply go to save as sheet as file option select it you'll get a dialog box where the save as option and then save this file to any location and give name whatever name you want and say ok and this file is saved and you're back to your old sheet old workbook now you can delete all the sheets together one by one there will not be any display alert displayed so make sure that you are little cautious while performing this particular option so if I say delete the sheet is deleted so I don't want that sheet because I've already created as a file in another location I can create a new duplicate sheet so I wanted to keep this sheet as it is to another location rather I have to keep in a different place and the same place rather I'll keep in the same workbook or different workbook there is a different matter first of all I need to create a duplicate sheet North America 1 so there is another sheet is created a duplicate sheet now I can save this sheet as a file as well and I can just simply delete it now another interesting thing is you can create the when you can change the tab color by just pressing on this select any specific uh, sheet and press the tab color the tab color will be changing and then finally you can just close and get out of this user form hope you understood this uh, uh, add-in and hope you try this and get benefited out from it 
If any doubts, please try to contact me at vijay.perepa at mag.com. And of course, this video will be posted into the YouTube and there is a link is given here so that you can just uh, click on this and watch again. And make sure that uh, like this video and uh, share with people, but not in a commercial way, but in a friendly way, you can share this file as well and let them use it. If at all you don't want this banner here and it should be without banner, definitely with a small fees, I'll remove the banner and give the add-in to you so that you can use this add-in without banner also. And to help you much better, you need to ask me questions. So your queries are very important to me. So please post your queries in the comment section or to the email or uh, through comments. Of course, comments are very useful to me. Thanks a lot. One more important thing I need to mention here. Once you activate a tab control, you can use shortcuts to go to any specific tab. Tab means any specific button very quickly. For example, if I want to create summary through a shortcut, say Alt T. So now the option is activated and it's asking me, the summary is already in place. Do you want to update it? Press yes, it's been updated. If I wanted to go to uh, say move up, so Alt U, so that that button is activated and accordingly the action happened. If I want to close the tab, close the tab control option, simply go to Alt C, the tab control dialog box or user form is closed. So that way I can use shortcut keys in tab control. Hope you like this uh, video and I hope you download this file and start using it and give your comments and feedback. And if you give your questions to me, I'll be able to create more uh, helpful products and share with you all. Thank you very much for now and please help MEZ Techno Services. Uh, by donations or by purchasing this application and also asking so many questions so that I can convert this, that questions to uh, into a tool so that I can help you better. Thank you very much again.